Today, we are going to take you down two of the most scenic drives in the country, Highway 101 and the Pacific Coast Highway, California Route 1. We start at the Oregon-California border and head south where 101 becomes the Redwood Highway at Crescent City. It cuts inland through some of the most dramatic scenery in Northern California, through the wine country. Then across the Golden Gate Bridge through the Silicon Valley, heading down Highway 1 through Monterey and across the Bixby Creek Bridge. Highway 1 and 101 merge back up again at San Luis Obispo, and the Pacific Coast Highway continues along the shoreline to Santa Barbara, then turns into the Ventura Highway in the sunshine, where the days are longer and the nights are stronger than moonshine. The highways separate again, Route 1 continuing along the coast, passing Malibu, Venice Beach, Newport Beach, ending at Dana Point near Capistrano Beach, while 101 goes through Hollywood and ending in LA. We will be sharing info and travel tips along the way. So come with us as we explore the California coast via Highway 101 and the Pacific Coast Highway. We pick up Highway 101 at the Oregon border just in time for sunset. We also did a video of the Oregon Coast Highway, which I have to say is very beautiful too. However, your odds of more sunshine is definitely going to be on the California Coastal Highways, as Oregon tends to be more on the cloudy side. Also on the Oregon part, you will tend to see the redwoods right on the ocean, as you see here near the border on the California side stayed overnight at a KOA cabin in Crescent City. California's hotels are expensive, so if I can find a KOA cabin, I take it. In Crescent City Harbor, check out the Battery Point Lighthouse and B Street Pier. A look at Crescent Beach as 101 becomes the Redwood Highway, a 355-mile stretch of Highway 101, which runs to San Francisco, with 175 of those miles through Redwood Country. The highway will dip into the Redwoods for a little bit, then pop back out on the coast, giving you a variety of scenery. Trees of Mystery is a nature park where you can take several trails, including a new canopy trail, and view several unusual tree formations. These trees are the tallest living things on our planet at 300 to 350 feet. There are states that don't even have buildings that high. Looks are deceiving. They look thin due to their height. However, these trees are massive in diameter. These are coastal redwoods. There are even thicker trees in the Sierra Nevada mountain range. They are called the Sequoia redwoods and are even more massive. 101 pops back out at the coast at Redwood Creek Picnic Area for another great view of the Pacific. The little quaint town of Eureka is a good place for overnight lodging, or seeing Victorian architecture, Sequoia Park Zoo, or take a cruise aboard the early 1900s Madiket Ferry on Humboldt Bay. After Eureka, 101 cuts back inland through the Redwoods toward the wine country, and it will be another 500 miles before it touches the coast again in SoCal. On the Redwood Highway, parts of it are a two-way road with tight turn, while other parts become a freeway with three to four lanes. But be careful because the CHP monitor these sections for speeders. While Napa Valley is well known for being the wine country, actually Northern Sonoma County is possibly the best region for growing, producing, touring, and tasting wine. 
Wineries are open year-round all along the Highway 101 corridor from Clovervale to Santa Rosa. If you do want to go to the Napa Valley, you can take Highway 37 from Highway 101. As the top of the Golden Gate Bridge appears over the hills of South Salido, we move from a natural wonder to an engineering marvel. This iconic structure connects Marin County with San Francisco. It opened in 1937 after taking four years to build. It was painted international orange to enhance its visibility with the fog coming in over the bay and to complement the natural surroundings around the bridge. A great way to view the bridge is to take a near-rated cruise with Red and White Fleet Cruises. You can also bike across the bridge with several bike paths around the Golden Gate area. After the tunnel, the freeway ends near the Palace of Fine Arts, and 101 travels east on Lombard Street, then north on Van Ness. The new Salesforce Tower, the tallest building in architectural height west of Chicago. After we make our way through the city streets, 101 becomes the Bayshore Freeway. But you are likely to face a lot of traffic for a while as we travel through Silicon Valley making our way to San Jose. It is this corridor of Highway 101 where all the tech giants started. Steve Jobs grew up in Mountain View and helped to create Apple in 1976 in Cupertino. Google was founded in 1998 in Menlo Park, also the headquarters of Facebook. YouTube started in San Mateo in 2005. After San Jose heading into Gilroy, there is nothing really too exciting on 101 for the next 200 miles. So we are going to jump back to the coast. While we took 101 through the Bay Area, a more scenic route out of San Francisco is the Route 1 along the coast. This is Maury Point at Pacifica, 15 miles south of San Francisco. While here its official name is the Cabrillo Highway, it is better known as the Pacific Coast Highway and runs for 656 miles. It started from Highway 101 in the town of Leggett back up in the Redwoods where we were. We are going to pick it up just south of Monterey. The most scenic part of this 123 miles. The most scenic part is the 123 miles from Carmel by the Sea to Morro Bay. It provides twisting, cliff-hugging ocean scenery that can take about five hours to complete. I bicycled this route as a teenager riding from San Jose to San Diego, one of the greatest experiences of my life. I recommend taking this route southbound instead of northbound, so you don't have to cross traffic for the scenic vistas. Easy to pull over and continue on. 17 miles south of Monterey is the Bixby Creek Bridge, the iconic symbol of the scenic drive. It, along with its sister bridge, the Rocky Creek Bridge, three miles south of it, were built in 1932. They look very similar, but the Bixby Creek Bridge is the one that gets all the attention. During rainy season from October to April, there are significant sections of this road that can be closed for lengthy periods of time due to frequent landslides and erosion along the coast. Probably a good idea to stock up on food and gas before making this drive. There are long stretches of road with very little in the way of services. Sir, the road cuts inland for a bit through the redwoods of the Santa Lucia Mountains. This area is popular for hiking, camping, and exploring the beach. Further down the PCH, the land turns into oak-studded hills. Near San Simeon is the Elephant Seal Vista Point. After Morro Bay, Route 1 heads inland and joins up with Highway 101 in San Luis Obispo before returning back to the coastline. 
Gaviota, the PCH comes back to the shoreline. Amtrak's Coast Starlight runs right on the edge of the coastline for one of the best train rides in the country here, as the huge cliffs of Central California start to mellow out in SoCal. We enter into some of the best surfing areas in the country. Barbara sits on the coast with the backdrop of the Santa Inez Mountains, a city where you can get both an ocean sunrise and sunset. Palm trees, white stucco buildings with red tiled rooftop shows its Spanish mission heritage. The La Conchita bike path runs for 13 miles between Rincon Point and Ventura, southwest of Muscle Shoals. This path is adjacent to the southbound Highway 101. The Rincon Parkway campground is probably not what you think of as far as campgrounds go. It is basically just a parking spot along the road, but you can't beat the views here. Very popular. Perhaps it was here, with the free wind blowing in their hair, that inspired the American rock band America to write the song about Ventura Highway, where the days are longer, the nights are stronger than moonshine. Another popular band, the Beach Boys, mentioned Ventura County Line. Certainly some of the best waves in the country are here. Oxnard 101 in one split with 101 heading inland through Thousand Oaks in Hollywood, while Route 1 continues along the coast going through Malibu with its famous celebrity homes and beaches. The Santa Monica Pier with a steel roller coaster. The Marvin Broad Bike Trail is a 22-mile pedestrian path which runs from Pacific Palisades to Torrance County Beach. It passes through the free-spirited Venice Beach, also known as Muscle Beach. South of LA, Route 1 takes you through the big city of Long Beach, the 39th most populated city in the U.S. We then move to two very popular beaches in Orange County. Huntington Beach is another surfer's paradise. The Balboa Peninsula and huge marina of Newport Beach. We start to see some cliffs again at Laguna Beach. And Route 1 comes to an end at I-5 and Capistrano Beach. We now move back to the 101 where it enters LA as the Hollywood Freeway. Earlier I told you about the Salesforce Tower being the second tallest building west of Chicago in structural height. Well, the Wilshire Grand Center is what is listed as the tallest building west of LA, but only because of a 290-foot spire on top of the building, which I think is cheating. Even in LA, the US Bank Tower in architectural height is taller. After going through downtown, Highway 101 ends at the interchange of I-5 and I-10. As our country opens up and you make vacation plans, I would encourage you to visit so many of the great places around the U.S. Support our local travel industry, our U.S. travel destinations, restaurants, and cities. There is so much to see in the U.S. Subscribe to our channel to see more. We will be doing some great cities in the Southeast very soon. Sarasota, Atlanta, Savannah, Charlotte, coming in the next couple of months. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We shoot travel videos across the USA. For licensing and stock footage, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com.
Thank you for watching our tour of the California coast.